Alrighty, we're heading off to Mesagoza. Now look at this little town. It's Los Platos. Oh, it's that one? Los Platos? I forgot what it was called. Yeah, that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. Los Platos. Does that mean the plates? Well, I mean, you took you're taking Spanish. You took your. I say you're using uh, whatever that What's is called. What's Spain though? Pretty sure it's a little different, you know. Duolingo. No, it's all Spanish words. No, I mean, but it's a little different between Spain and Mexico. You know, it's a little different. You know, just like in America, how English is different between what regions. Got, what do we got back here? Some people say soda, some people say pop. Stored power. Some people call like soda or like pop, whatever you want to call it. They call it like soft drinks, they just me. say cola. I was nowhere near you, Igly Buff. What the heck, man? They just wanted to fight. Showed who's boss. Get out of here. You are not worthy of my fight because I was not trying to come after you. We were like a foot away from each other and he decided to like come get these hands. I, I saw it was more than a foot, honestly. Another TM. I feel like these are like procedurally generated. These these items. I'm pretty sure when I come back around here, there's gonna be more items around. Ooh, sun curtain. Oh god, I think it's gonna be... Oh, I should've... Shouldn't have done that. Oh, we're okay. Throw the Pokeball. Easy catch. Sun card is not necessarily a hard Pokemon to catch. That's Sun not the hardest. Hmm. Sun Kern, the seed Pokemon. It is very weak. It only means no. It only its only means of defense is to shake its leaves desperately as at its attacker. Even the Pokedex says it's weak. God damn. That must be pretty weak then, honestly. When the Pokedex is like dissing you, it's pretty bad. Name it Sunny. Go into the box. Another Pokeball. Got one back. Nice. Let's, let's fight this trainer here. I, actually, you know what? I didn't even. I didn't even stop it. I didn't do the Poke Pokemon Center yet. Let's do that real fast. I haven't been to one.
I was like, look at that man walking. 15 frames per second. Uh, I mean, he's just so far advanced in walking. We haven't... You know, we're not on his level yet. Can't grasp the concept of how he's moving yet. Our brains are just not good enough. I need to Your register brain. my birthday. Okay, so I'm doing my Spanish right now because I forgot to do it. And I just came across the word plato and it says dish. I just... Course plate. Oh, well, that's very convenient. Uh, yeah, I forgot to do it, so. It said, when you're feeling lost, when you don't know where to go next, you can ask for help at any Pokemon Center. The staff there can give you tips about where you might want to try. Plus, they'll register your suggested destinations on your real-time phone for you. Or did you already know that? <laughs> well, I do hope my little tidbits come in handy. Come back and see us again whenever you need. All right, let's go to the Poke Shop. Welcome to the Pokemon. Pokemart. Can I help you with something? Yes, I'd like to buy. More Pokeballs, please. 15. I'll get a Premier Ball. Yeah. Uh, I'm good. Alright. Alright, so on our Pokemon, on our team right now, we got Sir Quax, the Quaxley, Truffles, the uh, Truffles, the Lechonk, Pasha, the Palmy, Silva, the uh, I'm already blanking on this man, thing's name, the Scatterbug. Scatterbug? Yep. Hey, I remember it actually. Holy shit. Stringer, the Tarantula, and Fernando, the Flobigo. Actually, do I have anybody that I could switch out Scatterbug for? Um. Oh, yeah, Fido. Put Fido in here. And, um. Hmm. Uh, we can put Ramon in. Let's put Ramon in here. Alright. Oh my god, look at those pe uh, Pelipers up there. Oh, I didn't even see them. I thought that was just the, how the house looks. No, oh, kind of those, cool. those are two Pelipers just chilling up there. Leapers. Okay, so Nathan, the Pokemon that you own, the only Pokemon that you know, off the back of your hand at least, is Gen One, obviously. Gen Two. Mostly, yeah. I know up to like Gen Three, and then after that, I don't know too much. Cause, I, cause you kind of sort of play Gen Four. Not really. I think I got to like the second gym. Oh yeah, I passed up a trainer, god damn it. Let me go back. Passed up two trainers. Yeah, we go back to the one where I was supposed to fight with. I uh, say I pretty much know all the gens, maybe. Gen 5's a little bit blur because I haven't played Gen 5. Never played. I got two whole Pokemon. Am I cool or what? That's yes, you're, cool. yes, you're cool. Pierre, Perry, the student. Pear? Yeah, I mean, oh, that's adorable. It got an Azuril. Mm. 
Oh my god, that's a crit. Ended that Azuril's career. I mean, before it even got started. Well, I'm, le well, I'm at level 11. That's probably why. Um, Let's bring in Ramon. Ramon, Ramon. God, I hated that part of um, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. We had to watch Wally catch that fucking routes. <laughs> that was terrible. I hated that part. Like, ugh. Oh, it's dark type. That's why. I didn't know it could not. I don't know. Second type moves can't not work on dark types like that. Okay. Let's switch out then. Um, we'll bring in uh, Fernando. One kick. Wow. That looks just like a flamingo, I swear. <laughs> it's terrible. Wow, my two Pokemon! Hey, we can't complain. I mean, you can. Taurus, let's say Taurus is just a freaking bull with tails. Nah. Exactly. Just complain as much as you want. I'm just giving an example of a Pokemon that looks like a normal animal. With some creative liberties. Yeah, a little bit. I and mean, that's what makes it fun. Uh, sh I don't even know what you got. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put in for a handle first. All right. Got time to battle a fellow like me on your way to school? Yes. All the time in the world, buddy. Ruben the janitor. What are you doing out here? You're supposed to be at the school. Oh, a goal pin. I've never had a goal pin on my team. Well, that's all, actually. I had it on... Uh, XD Gale of Darkness, but I never actually you, but I never really actually used it to its full potential, and I did not evolve it into a Swalot, nor like probably um uh pur purified it. No, you're not gonna you're not gonna put me to sleep. No, thank you, sir. Drowsy little guy. One thing I found interesting in when I was playing Pokemon Legends Arceus is the fact that what oh my god, he's yawned again. Um that um you don't fall asleep, you just become drowsy. Oh, really? Yeah. You never fall asleep? That's weird. Hmm. I think this. I think they changed it due to the mechanics of Legends of Arceus, so... Mm -hmm. The battling mechanics are a little bit different in that. Oh, okay. That one... I remember seeing, like, the previews for that one, and that one actually looked interesting to me. I don't know anything else about it, just looked kind of interesting. Oh, Legends of Arceus? Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. It's pretty fun. It's not like the reg it's not regular um it's not like the regular Pokemon games like how the formula is. Yeah. It's kinda interesting then. Cool. 
I think the whole premise of it is basically, well, like the whole mechanical thing is like just filling up the Pokedex instead of like battling gym leaders and stuff. Oh, okay. Or filling up, or making up, making the first Pokedex. You ruin your whole your career, you ruin your whole career, Goldpin. Go, go, <laughs> bye bye. That's all we got. Okay. Jojo wants to learn the move Covet. Yeah, so let's replace the move Covet. Oh, let's replace it with Covet, I mean. Um, uh, we could get rid of Tail Whip. Safe trip, then. That's all you gotta say to me? I mean, I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess, right? So we can zoom in and out. Oh, did I capture you? No, I didn't. Shrewdle. A weird looking thing. Let's, let's put in the Pokeball. Shrudo. Shrudo, the toxic mouse Pokemon. To keep enemies away from its territory, it paints markings around its nest using a poisonous liquid that has an as acrid odor. That looks nothing like a mouse. <laughs> I mean, it, it it does if you use your imagination. Right, so shrewdel. Hmm. Mm, what will be your name? Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Oops. Uh, can I change it here? No. Okay, I'll just send it to the box for now, and then I'll change it there. Put it in my party to make it do that. Okay. All right. Let's try that. Summary. There we go. Change nickname. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. Ah. I know exactly. There we go. That's the name. Banksy. There we go. <clears throat> Sounds pretty good. Right. We made it to the gate. Guess this is it. Ooh. I came to Mesagoza to make some deliveries, but let's have a quick battle. Iker the co the courier, the courier. He sounded a rookie. I like, I like his uh, outfit. Oh, 
need some power trip. Chunk in the background, he's just scared. Yes, he is. Guess I delivered you a win. You sure did. All right, we can heal up here. I like this put all of our Pokemon up at once and then put up one by one. Shrewdle. Shrewdle. Oh, by the way, did you know? Handy functions to remember. There are all kinds of handy functions registered to your directional buttons. Check them out. The up directional button uses emotes, down the camera app left to change outfit or look, and right to check notices. Or did you already know that? I did. I did not know. Let's check out the camera. Start starting up the camera app. You can start up the camera app by pressing the down button. Move the camera up out freely to snap shots of all kinds of places and Pokemon you see. So it's just basically using the, uh, the the camera button option or the screenshot capture. Mm -hmm. That's all it is, basically, when you want to take a picture in the camera app. I think all of them. It's like Fatal Frame. Let's take a picture with Nurse Joy. <laughs> that looks funny. That's good. This is a good one. Uh, hide the guide. There we go. having some nice battles. Hello there, I'm a Pokemon League rep. Have been having some nice Pokemon battles? Well, good news, if you can defeat four trainers in here in one in Area 1 of South Province, there's a lovely prize with your name on it. Ooh, so far you've defeated five trainers here in Area 1 of the South Province. On behalf of the Pokemon League, here's your lovely prize. Oh, we got Thunder Wave. We're holding this challenge for other areas around Paldea, too. Stop by and try them. That's pretty cool. That's pretty nice, pretty nice. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna use. Let's head on in. Oi, Mikey! Did you battle some trainers on the hill? Bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you show me how much you all have learned in a battle? Sure thing. Oh, right! Nothing like having a friend around. Come on, Mikey. Let's have us a fruitful battle. Challenge Nimona again. Hmm. 
You seem like you're getting better at this, so I'm coming at you with two Pokemon this time. Two Pokemon, oh my god. Dope. No way. Oh, I thought she said at the same time. Okay, that's true. No, that's just good. that's just a double battle at that point. Oh, I thought she was two to year one. I was like, okay, this is kinda of cheating, maybe. Uh let's Bring out. No, he's a level 11. I can't do that to her. Uh, Jojo. Let's bring in Jojo. That's a shame. Tackle. He learned bite and furious swipes. I think you learned two moves. Oh my god! And uh, no furious swipes. I think we'll go with Fernando for this one. Oh, boy, that was a bad idea. Pommy's a Pommy's a Pommy's an electric type. Wow, you're doing even better than expected. Good to go, Mikey, and I'm gonna send out Pommy. Copycat, let's see what happens. Battling was a blast. Think I better pull out my ace in the hole. Oh my god, he has a light bulb on his head. Interesting. It took Ramon's move, Confusion, and used it. Oh, Fernando survived! Terrestrialization gives a real boost, see? Especially if a move is already super effective. Where Fernando's dead. <laughs> Bye, Fernando. Uh, we'll go with Banksy again. Oh, 
Banksy's gone. A tough one. Oh, there we go. Oof. Stringer learned assurance. Man, I can't believe how fast you're improving. Right, it's pretty good, honestly. We're improving pretty fast. Amazing! Look at you! Taking on a terrestrialized opponent and winning, no problem. Come to think of it, you can't terrestrialize your Pokemon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get that taken care of. I'll get you taken care of. You're so good with Pokemon battles, I forget how new you are to this stuff sometimes. Anyway, it was fun to battle you. Here, have some revives as thanks. Thank you for the revives. Don't mind if I do. Now, Mesa is waiting just past this gate. At last, the city where our school is. There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so I'm going to take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon. Here we are in Mesa Goza. Alright, here I am. We finally made it, huh? This is Mesagoza, the biggest city in Paldea. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks come here to learn about advances in, the t in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your look, plus places with tasty food and fixings. What do you want to see first, Mikey? Tasty food. Ha! Huh, I didn't have I didn't have you pegged for a big eater. But that's smart. You can't battle well with a growling tummy, right? Oh, speaking of battling, I want to be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too, Mikey. There's a few things that I got that I gotta get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. Meanwhile, you just have fun looking around the city a bit. There's so much to do. Grab a bite, buy some accessories to spice up your uniform. If you want my personal recommendation, you've got to see Delibird Presents. They sell handy items for Pokemon to hold. Once you've seen your fill, we can meet up again in front of the school. Just be ready. The stairs up to the school are no joke. Later then, get pumped for some terrestrializing. Heck yeah, Terrastalizing. All right, let's check out the city. Look at this place, so big. It's a pretty big place, honestly. There's like one thing I know about at least, at least Gen Five, is that one of the cities in there is uh is big. Crystalia City. How big is it? Pretty big.
Ooh. Yeah, that's a pretty big place. I'm gonna pick them all healed up. Cool. Alright, um. Switch up with me go. Actually, never mind. Team is fine, but we is. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good right now. So pretty. Look at these stairs. Oh, who are these people? There's a lot of stairs. Like rocky or something. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. No. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for our new, for new num members, so just sign up already. Um... I'd rather not help her out. Huh? You want in on us too? If you're here to sign up, we'll get you. To, we'll get to you next. We nearly got this one in the bag. We're Team Star Kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us. But we, but you knew that, right? No. Ugh, another ignorant little nobody. I'm finally part of Team Star, and I still get no respect. I gotta work my way up to the... I gotta work my way up the ranks. Hey, we can't just let something like that like this slide. The honor of our team's on the line, so we've got no real choice but to battle, yeah? That's true. Yeah, you, you keep watch on that little four eyes over there. I'll make sure this fresh-faced nobody ends up seeing stars. Team Star Grunt. I mean. Is this the new Team Rocket? Yeah, the new Team Rocket, the new Team Yell, the new Team Skull. Team Flare, Team Aqua, Team Magma. Oh, he sh Oh, shoot. No, we're not gonna do that. We're bringing in Ramon. Fernando's coming in. There we go. <laughs> Beat him with his own move. Only one seeing stars. 
Oh, they're on your head. Yeah. Why is nobody like you? Why is a nobody like you so good at battling anyway? That's just not right. No way, he beat you. Does that mean I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up on higher up Team Star's ranks? Pero bueno, what do you think you're doing? Do you know what Pero Bueno means? What? 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 Pero Bueno. I, I didn't see it spelled. Ugh, it's that student council dweeb. She's gonna report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you, Mikey. You don't have to go find randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you'll ever need with me. That's not what happened. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that way wrong. Sorry. I get it now. You two got you two have got Team Star written all over you for sure. I bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Uh hi. No. We weren't not doing that. <laughs> well, that explains it. As head of the council as head of the student council, Stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra-rare gift to you. We got a Terra Orb. Terra Orb. An orb that holds within it the power to crystallize. When it is charged with energy, it can be used to cause Pokemon to terrestrialize. With this orb, you can terrestrialize your Pokemon during battle. Let's see... It After it terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure your Shrutal will be a normal type. Normally, you've got to take special classes to be able to get one of these Terra Orbs. But I put in a good word for you. Now, time to give it a whirl. Learn, you'll learn to use it faster in battle than if I ex just explained it to you. W wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing on us with this Terra Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? Mm, never mind. I'll take my chances with the new kid. <laughs> then take your places and battle. I like that part. Oh, a young goose. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, Pokemon, no. We'll bring in Fernando for this one. Just want to make sure. Okay, cool. Now watch this bird get a new hat. Nice hat. It's just a fist. <laughs> Got a fist on its head. That looks so funny. <laughs> one shot, one kill. God. Just murdered that little guy. Your Pokemon burned so bright. You're just cheering back there, girl. Nice, Mikey. You pulled off terrestrializing, no problem. Most of your Pokemon's Terra type will hit even harder when it's terrestrialized, you know. Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose Terra type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your strategic options. 
Gotta charge your ter Terra Orb at a Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your, po your team, though. So they did it so it won't be broken <laughs> when using a Terra Orb. Yeah. That's kind of nice. Don't want to make it too powerful. So you got to a go to a Pokemon Center every time you want to charge it back up. Yeah. Well, you I'll be like on. Save it. Yeah, save it for a uh, special for. Yeah, I gotta use it strategically. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, well, I'll be on my merry way then. Yeah, hasta la vista, star. Me too, hasta la vista, star. And mark with a star there. <laughs> <laughs> like an anime would. So yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to t kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, from what I hear. Um, excuse me. I, uh, I just, well, thanks. So yeah, see you around. Aw, look at you, Mikey. Already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've ever seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer, like you. That Eevee bag, though. Love that fluff. That'll be a cool backpack, that Eevee backpack. If it was real. I love that fluff. I mean, they could make it. They could make it. Anyway, seems like the troubles died down. So we better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. Oh my god, look at that staircase. I mean, that's, that's just the rocky steps, you know? Good, you're good. The rocky steps had way less steps than this. I mean, you know, you're good. Let's take a look around here. Oh, something tucked away in the corner. A heel ball. Get to class. Here we are, Mikey. Welcome to Ula Academy. This is the this here is the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at that desk behind me, and those halls off to the sides lead you to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason, they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. How would they do that? Master Mikey, Mr. Mona. How did you find your first school commute? We had a blast. I imagine Miss Nimona's high points helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion-ranked student council president. Reliable as ever, Miss Demona. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, Mikey? Oh, speaking of which, we saw some of the those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? Where? It was down the stairs from the gates. They were hassling this kid with an Eevee backpack. That is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, Mikey flexed on him and ran uh, ran him off. <laughs> you don't say. Of course, it's fine. It's a fine thing to try to help a fellow student, Master Mikey. But you might wish to show a bit of a bit of restraint 
as you are as you find your feet here at our academy. And Miss Simona, do remember that the school staff is here to resolve any such troubles. Uh, right. Yes, sir, Director. A child with an Eevee backpack, you say? I suppose that might be, that might have been Miss Penny. No, I can't do it. I was gonna mess up the mic. <laughs> I was gonna do the bit for freaking Big Bang Theory. Yes. Knock, knock, knock. Penny. Do, 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 penny. P -p -p penny. I'm relieved to hear she's some. Oh. I, I'm. Oh. I'm relieved. She, I'm relieved to hear she's come to class, at least. Ah, and Miss Demona, if you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jacques about this Team Star business. As your honeymoon teacher. Oh, honeymoon? What the heck? Honeymoon. <laughs> Oh, as nice. your as your homeroom teacher, too friendly. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of all such ongoing on goings on. You got it, sir. Ah, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will, classes will be starting soon. We're in class one A, Mikey. Come on, I'll show you the way. Class 1A, is that My Hero Academia? I think it's most animes. <laughs> Honestly. Let's go. Good morning, Mr. Jacques. Hello, hello, everyone. We have ex we have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Oh, oh, me! I want to hear the news. I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. Oh, it's this guy! Look, who's this new friend? I want to meet this new friend. Oh my God, he sounds so cool. I wonder what they'll be like. All right, you can come on in. <laughs> hey, look at me. Can I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Ooh. That is a... It's too nope. much action on screen right now. <laughs> too much action. Uh, that's one way of putting it. Sure. I'm Mikey. I was hoping you didn't have to say anything. <laughs> Did I you hear? Mean, I mean, I just, I just, you know, haven't been in class in a while. <laughs> Did you hear that? He seems super friendly and fun. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, Mikey. All right then. Who wants to be the first to ask our new friend in question? Mink, me, me. Can I ask a question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? I like battling with Pokemon. I like collecting Pokemon. I like playing with Pokemon. I like everything about Pokemon. Really awesome. I'm totally the same. Does anyone else have a question for their new classmate? Of course you would, Nimona. Me, I have a question. You went to all the trouble of rolling here, so spill, Mikey. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? Education. Education. And by education, it's either I want to be a complete, I want to complete the Pokedex, or I want to be a strong trainer. I don't know. What are you feeling? What are you, feeling? you will be. Oh, I just know it. You and me, we're going to get so strong battling together. Savage route, I see. Well, thank you, Mikey, for telling us a bit about yourself. Oh, sorry. Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, Mikey. I'm Mr. Jacques. I teach biology here at the Academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. That's your seat, second row from the front. All right, you ragamuffins. Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. He really just said ragamuffin. He did just say ragamuffins. 
We will, Mr. Jacques. Get to know the Academy campus, campus by exploring a bit of your own. A bit on your own. I'm looking for Nimona. She just went off and left. That's a big head of hair. That is a lot of hair. It's like... Bayonetta. If there... she didn't use her hair as clothes. Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day then. Oh, pardon me. Oh, Mikey, hey. Who was that? Piqued your interest, huh? That lady is... Well, they call her La Primera. She's strong. She could do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be. Or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Oh, which reminds me. Remember in Homeroom when I asked you that what your dream was? Or dream is? <laughs> Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I've got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. I don't know. Ah, uh, but talent like yours deserves to be used. Hear me out. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro-tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to get to officially get the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You've got to take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done that, all that's left is a special test. The champion assessment. Once and once you pass that. Then at long last you'll be you'll be a champion. It's very po it's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. I'd reach champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we've got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of the school year. It's great! You get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found. Maybe. I don't know... I don't know yet if that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map in case you get, decide to go for it. Okay, so that's what we got here. So we got a normal type gym, a ghost type gym, ice type gym, water type gym, electric type gym, bug type gym, a psychic type gym, and a grass type gym. Victory would it have been road. Like, would it have been different like if you chose like you want to be like a Pokemon, like catch the Pokemon instead of battle? Just been different dialogue or no? Uh, probably different dialogue. I don't know if you did different dialogue on your other playthrough or not. No, I didn't. Like, oh, okay. Give it some thought. Let's change my look. Let's go with the spring look. Alright. Oh, here, here's the jerk. Oh, Mr. Arvin. Yeah. Mm 
Oh, hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Yeah. Oh, from the lighthouse. Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all buddy. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? No need to tell me your name. Mikey, right? Old Skull seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up with the president of the student council. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You've got to help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. What's this dream first? Hope I'm not going to do any crimes. <laughs> Caught your interest, have I? You want to hear all about my dream, right? Well, this might come as a surprise. But fact is, I'm all about that picnic life, the great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches of all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now, I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day, and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it starts as soon as it eats them. Now, there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica, based on what I've read. Just taking a little lick of them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing. Provide nutrients, pre prevent aging, it'll even boost the immune system. These herbs seem like they're they're the real deal. Only found here in Paldea and rare to boot. But this, but this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning that it's going to be pretty tough to grab trying to grab even a few sprigs. Cause see, Titans are... well, I think they're gotta be... they've gotta be things like this. Look a little familiar to you? I mean, a little bit. Looks like a little titan, you know what I mean? A little elephant titan. Do it look a little similar to a certain Pokemon you know about? Yeah, like a little elephant titan. Look like a little Don- look like Don fan. Yeah. Donnie. Donnie, uh, Osborne. Anyway, Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if the though we wondered if these compact cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat it for the for time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan. Yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it is biologically separate, to say nothing of of its treads of iron. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. I don't have any, have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either, and I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling to that student council girl. But here are you, but here are you, but here are you waltz up. You've got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Yeah, sure. <laughs> nope, wait, I don't need an answer yet. I'll just rest to the places where it seems there might be titans in your map, in your map, air, uh, map app for you. I got a little full baby phone case. Okay, so we got dragon, steel, rock, ground, and and flying. Wow, so they used eight of the types in the gym battles, five so far in this in these battles, or in these titans. Path of Legends. <laughs> Let it stew a bit. And we can get more into the details later. And in the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening and all. 
Ooh, a bag of stardust. Nice. <laughs> give me the give the idea some serious thought, please. All right, all right. Let's let's, let's get out of here. Hello, who's calling me? This is Mikey, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. I'm pretty sure you don't hear me right now. I heard you. Oh, you did? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. I'm sorry, who are you? My name is Cassiopeia. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is, is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask you. I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Mikey. You know about Team Star, right? Yes. Great. I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. <laughs> they cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation. And I'd like you to be one of them. Sure, I'm getting to ask a lot of things from people. No need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave you to it. Bye. Weird. <laughs> ah, Master Mikey. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? Of course, sir. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. On you go, then, young man. Team Star, you say? Uh, I don't have that. I don't have it. Okay, calling Master Mikey to the director's office, please. Once again, Master Mikey to the director's office, please. Alright, I'm going, yes. Alright, let's just go up here. Thank you for coming, Master Mikey. Have you been have you been enjoying your time here at Uva Academy? Yeah. It's okay. That is most wonderful to hear. Now, you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. But let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Where's his friend, hmm? I don't see him. Ah, uh, no, I'm afraid they are... They, ah, no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Oh, hey there, buddy. Hey there, good looking. What's cooking? The Hello. Hell is that 
That's a fucking blue steel going on. Yeah. Hello, Mikey. Hello, Mikey. It is nice to meet you. My name is Professor Toro. I carry out Pokemon research within the Great Crater of Paldea. At a site known as Area Zero. So that's where Area Zero is at. Okay. The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Mikey student ID number 805C393. You are the student who travels with the unusual Master Miraidon, is that correct? Thank you. I appreciate that you were honest in co confirming the facts. Ah, uh, not that I... I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Assistance? Oh, hey, I forgot you. I forgot I had you. Oh, yeah. I forgot about him, too. Like, we just have a... Legendary in our in our pocket. Yeah, well, forgot about him. Oh, how good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Miraidon once was in my care, you see. Its Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. Yes, we met your son. <laughs> I am no longer in any position to be able to manage my that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Maraidon on my behalf? Nah, I'm good. You bet you s oh shush yeah. I do appreciate your agreement. Maraidon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with any contact information. If you would please get out your phone. I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Until then. Could this Pokemon have its origins with Agent with Area Zero? Turo, don't tell me you actually did it. Did what? What did this this handsome man do? I don't know what he did. Well, it seems that the professor is quite asking quite a, quite the favor of you. But of course, the academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you continue to enjoy your school life together with that Maridon. That's it. Okay. That's it. We're leaving now. Dude. Hello! Excuse me. Oh, you're still here, Mikey. Oof. Getting called into the director's office. How'd you land in that much trouble any already? Nah, kidding. I know it wasn't like that. Mr. Jacques wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room, Mikey. Let's go. Check it out. Let's go check it out. Ta -ta -ta -chan! From today on, this is your room, Mikey. Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. Maybe check out your new bed. Looks comfy. 
You must be pretty worn out from all this stuff happening on your very first day, huh? A quick rest on a bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow, we, when you've rested up. Then we can battle even more. Take care. Man, look at our dorm room, man. I mean, it looks pretty, like, you know, pretty you big and everything. Honestly, for a dorm. You got a kitchenette with a microwave and a hot plate and a sink? I know. It's like, this, this place is balling. Yeah, I think that's like a little mini fridge on the bottom. And you know, what is this door here? This leads to the bathroom. We have our own bathroom. Make sure to keep it nice and clean. Man, th this is how we live, man. This is how we live. This is how we live. Okay, now I'm dizzy. Okay. Now I'm dizzy. You have done messed up some mm, personal kitchen. All right. Let's take a nap. All right, night night. Ready to call it a day? You'll need rest if you want to prepare be prepared for your new school life. Yes. Let's head on to bed. The day is quickly by after you start your new day life at Ufa Academy. And then the la at the last day arrives of your true adventure to begin. Attention all students, today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard, where, where I will explain in more detail. Aye aye, Captain. Yeah, ready to just come into our room. <laughs> it's time! I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. I gotta read quick. Excellent, it seems everyone is here. Well then, it's time that I explained your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world and eat in search of your own treasure. You have all learned with much within the walls of our fine academy. But now it is time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Padea's abundant nature, soak in its rich culture, discover the Pokémon that live here, and get to know the people too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokémon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together, learn new things together, Share each other's thoughts and feelings, and find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study, when you return to us as fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin! Onward! To victory! Tomaya, it's time for the great outdoors. Come on, Cyclozar, we're riding out. Take care, everyone, and remember, the great crater of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering is a violation of school rules. What are you waiting for, Mikey? Let's go! As you can possibly tell, not tell, it's raining already. Look at us, we're all wet. Uh, being dry never helped anybody.
Mikey, Mikey. The treasure hunt, it's finally starting. What do you mean by treasure? Yeah, fair question. Since it's your first time, come on, let's walk and talk. Fair question. <laughs> the treasure hunt is a huge part of the Uva Academy school year. The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure necessarily. We're more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Paldea's got to offer. You could try to beat the Pokemon gems, you could help out people in need, you could hunt for real capital two treasure if you wanted to. If you wanted, even. There's stuff we never learned sitting in a classroom, you know. This is our chance to learn it. And it stopped raining. Just that fast? I mean, just a little quick brain, quick, quick drizzle. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me for sure gotta battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Yeah. Oh yeah, waiting, can, battling can wait. I meant to tell you. Did you know your phone's map app lets you set yourself destinations? You could try setting one of the gems as your destination. That get you on your way way easy. How's that for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage. Aye, uh, Arvin. Insider advantage. Sheesh, you make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest to check that he check out them gyms. It's up to Mikey whether he goes. It's up to Mikey whether he goes. Mikey's gonna have his hands full searching out Titan Pokemon with me. He doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after the champion rank. Me and him are gonna be too busy visiting the layers of Titans and nabbing their Herba Mystica. And serio, don't go filling his head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite him along. It's still up to Mikey whether he goes, right? Ugh. Hmm. Mikey, your phone's ringing. Hey, Mikey. Cassiopeia here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I what I told you before? Team Star is made up of five individual squads, and each one's got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them and beat the squad boss there. Team Star's grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. And heads up that the bosses are each specialized, special, specialized in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews and you'll figure it out. Still, no need to worry. With your skills, I'm sure you're more up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the basis locations to your phone for you. Wow, look at that. We got the fairy crew, the fighting crew, the poison crew, the fire crew, and the dark crew. So, if we're paying attention, they used all 16. All si Oh, wait, there's 18. All 18 Pokemon types in this game. It's a lot of types. What? Yeah, it's a lot of types, yeah. The Starfall Street. And if you notice, that's three stories. Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait a second. Where are you supposed to be? And Team Star, those punks are a serious hazard. They're not Mikey's problem. And that's right, because he's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to Mikey to decide whether he goes or not. 
Wasn't that what you said? Nomona and Arvin? How did you know my- I'm looking forward to seeing what you can pull off, Mikey. Bye. Goodbye. What was that all about? Mikey, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got a big adventure to start. I'm gonna battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. If I just keep trying to become the strongest, I bet that experience will be the thing I treasure. Guess I'll start by heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic of what the gym buildings look like. Okay, so that's what they look like. Like, all the the gyms are outside. Just so you know. Mm -hmm. Like, you do the fights outside, or...? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, and... I know we've been running our mouths, but it's your call what you do, Mikey. Go where you want, and do what is really... Wa wha okay. Go where you want, and do what it is you really want to do most. A treasure of our very own. For me, that's gotta be my, er, um, my big dream of tracking down the Urban Miska, that is. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've had in your life. Ah, what'd you come out for? Oh my gosh, did you, did it just come out because you said sandwich? <laughs> Well, you're not getting one. It seems like it wants to start moving. Is it telling you to get on, Mikey? Oh, we're gonna ride the motorcycle. Let's go. Vroom vroom time. Let's go. <laughs> vroom vroom time. Scoot scoots. A po our Pokey Scoots. Whoa, it transformed! Now it really looks like something, some kind of weird Cyclozar. As long as you got Maridon, you can go pretty much anywhere. Paldea is your cloister. <laughs> I see what they did there. Paldea is your cloister. Paldea is your oyster. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Mm. Well, if you're going to search for those Titan Pokemon, I'd say set out to the from the I say set out from the East Gate. But since Mikey is actually headed to the take on gyms, I'd say go for the West Gate. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out east. Man, that this is this is what mm. Man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. I'll head to a gym. See you around, Mikey. Yep, the treasure hunt has finally begun. Let's go get the treasure. Oh, yeah. It's finally time, but... Journey has begun. Oh my god. We can actually... It's actually a motorcycle. It's actually a bike. <laughs> so cool. Oh, he jumps too? Yeah, he jumps. funny. Wait, what's funny? Just looking at you drive a Pokemon. Wait. Something I need to see. Oh, 
at. Let me check this out real quick. I believe this is where the Pokemon League is. Yeah, that building right there. Well, that was close. And this is a new Pokemon, Tandem Mouse. Oh, Tandem Mouse. Tandem Mouse, the couple Pokemon. The pair sticks together no matter what no matter what. They split any food they find exactly in half and then eat it together. <laughs> exactly in half. Just a painstaking process of trying to exactly cut something in half. Uh oh, what can what can we name you guys? Um Nico and Nika. So Nico slash Nika. Could have just named it Jamie. Yeah, these these guys are a weird Pokemon. Yeah, I think. Yeah, there's nothing else here. <sighs> hey, it's Nina Mona. We should call and catch up. Oh, we should call and catch each other up on how things are going from now on. You decided to set out heading west from the school, right, Mikey? Starting from there. Yo, be pretty close to Quatando. That's where you'll find the bug type gym. You can go, you can go take on the gym leader if you want. I'm sure you could beat her, Mikey. Good luck. I'll call you soon. Oops. And I used the wrong. I used the wrong voice effect. Let's do it over again. No, too late. It's been. It's it's done. We'll just say she had a bad connection. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta show you this feature. The picnic feature. Picnics, you can enjoy picnics together with the Pokemon in your party. If you're playing in a group of friends through the Union Circle, you can also have picnics with friends. You won't be able to set up a picnic table in the middle of town or where there isn't enough space to get any everything out or on inclines, where things might go sliding off the your table. Look for wide open level spots outside of towns when you want to picnic. Nice. That's pretty nice. Look at all my Pokemon just sitting out. And they're sleeping! Ralts and Shrudel.
Okay, how do I... Oh, yeah. I can wash. Come on, Clocks, it's time for you to have a wash. Let's get in your, your pompadour, dude. Alright. Looking good. Let's make a sandwich. Try whipping up a delicious sandwich by piling your favorite ingredients up on sliced bread. If you're pic picnicking with friends, you can take part in sandwich prep together as well. <laughs> Wait, is this game, like, online co-op? Yeah. Oh, really? Kind of, oh. kind of sort of. Uh, I'm not sure how the gameplay works, or well, how the story works if you play with people mm -hmm. but that's cool though so we can get egg power catching power experience points item dropping all that stuff humongo ah more likely to find large pokemon cool mm. The Jamal Biera. I got about the bread. Oh no. Oh, only two pieces of bread? Wow. I mean, only two pieces of ham? And that's it. Just a ham sandwich. Well, sometimes that's all you need. A tasty Mikey original. Some sauce. All right, time to pack up and go. Oh, everybody leveled up. Well, almost everybody. Switcheroo. Sir Quack's Aqua Jet? Yes, please. Um, mm, can get rid of Growl. Not Growl. And Fernando wants a lone wing attack. I think it blows. Yeah, and those Peck. So we can get rid of Peck. And Jojo's learning bite. Uh, uh, we can give it a tackle. Awesome. A Petra berry. Um switch you out. Um, don't have anybody necessarily. Uh, let's we'll put in Ramon. Get this Mareep.
Oh, not the thunder wave. <laughs> oh, not the paralyze. Already? Come on, man. I'm already paralyzed, bro. Pokeball, go! Papa's got himself a Mareep. <laughs> All the other Mareeps in the background sweating. And I'm learning. They just got Frank. Holy shit. And I've learned hypnosis. Get rid of Growl. Learn hypnosis instead. Mareep, the wool Pokemon. Its fleece grows continually. In the summer, the fleece is fully shed, but it grows back in a week. Like well, a normal sheep best. would. Oh. Alright, what have we named you? So last time I named my Barip Maxwell. With one L. So this is when I was playing Pokemon Sun. Or Ultra Sun. So as opposed to the normal sun. Uh let's name you. Watson. Did you hear how the music changed? Um, I wasn't really paying attention too much about the music. Yeah, it's got dynamic music in here. Oh, I was not paying attention to the music. I was just looking at the uh, giant red Poké Center. Caught my eye. Look at this little guy. Small if. I'm pretty sure you've seen this guy already. No. I know the shrewdle. Got small if. Excuse me. Small if, the olive Pokemon. This Pokemon converts nutrients into oil, which it stores in the fruit on its head. It can easily go a whole week without eating or drinking. Like a cactus? Or a camel? Or an olive. Mm, sage. Sage. Add you to the party. Uh, we'll put Banksy in the box for now. Let's heal you up. There we go. Oh, Happini! Or Happini. Rude. 
dude. That was close. Oh, I got a crit. Yeah, only one shake, baby. <laughs> only one shake on the Pokemon. Oh, I got a happy no happy no already. I didn't realize that. Hattie. Oh, well, might as well catch you. Chlorophyll. Hmm. How dare you? Don't whip your tail at me. No, oh, not the paralysis again. <laughs> you got you with it again, man. The summoning voice, hopefully, and we don't get paralyzed one again. Enough with the tail whip. There we go. That's all we need. It's a hop it. Yeah, caught a hop it. Put in the Pokedex. Oh shoot. Dang it, you should have said something. No, my voice effect was still on. Oh, I was just so I didn't hear it. For some reason I didn't hear that one. <laughs> Hopip, the cottonweed Pokemon. Outside of cold regions, Hopip can be found practically everywhere. This is because the wind carries this species all over the world. Hoppy. Like, after so many things. So many wonderful things there, man. Experience candy? Those are always good, for sure. There's a oh, there's a dragon. Let's try this out. Ok. 
turn it before it goes away. Crystals! All around Paldea, there you may spot gleaming crystals emitting brilliant beams of light. If you investigate one, you'll be able to take on a terror raid battle and try to defeat a powerful terror Pokemon. In terror raid battles, you'll work together with other trainers to battle powerful po terror Pokemon. You can battle alongside faraway friends while you're in online mode or nearby friends while you're in online offline mode. <laughs> These battles will pit you against terror type terror Pokemon with rare terror types. If you and your allies can work together to defeat the terror Pokemon, you'll have a chance to catch it and also get special items. So it's a Pokemon with a Dragon Terror type. So I'm going to need a Fairy type for this one. Or a Pokemon that has the, uh, uh, or a Pokemon that has a Fairy type move. doesn't have anything right now. Uh, Iggy, Iggy doesn't have anything. Guess I don't think. Nope. Guess I'm stuck with Ramon. Challenge alone, because I have no friends. It's a Litleo. Oh, the Denny's in this game. Okay, Ooh. cool. I, I like that Litleo. It's kind of cool. In a Terra Ray battle, you'll try to defeat a Terra Pokemon within the time limit. If your Pokemon is knocked out, it will be arrived after a while, but you'll also take plenty uh, take a time penalty. So try to avoid letting your Pokemon faint if you can. You can also perform a special addition, a special action in Terra Raid Battles, cheering. By cheering for your side, you can do things like boosting the stats of the Pokemon on your side, or help them, helping them recover their health. You can perform cheers three times per battle. And it's not turn-based. So, well, it is turn-based, but um, everybody can attack in real time. No oh, real time? Yeah, you don't have to wait for people. You'll see how it goes. Well, I mean, I understand how it goes, but that's kind of cool. Ooh. No! I'll try to do a hypnosis on this guy. You can do it. Oh, he avoided it. I believed in you. This is music is too hype. <laughs> Fun fact, this music is made by uh the one the one and only Toby Fox. Mr. Delta Rune himself? Insane.
Dang it. Looks like we're not gonna get this one. I ain't never say never. Unless you want to. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Get it, I know, I know. Heal up. Come on. I'm, I'm dead. Yeah, man, you gave it a good try. I mean, he does look very shiny and cool and everything, so don't feel bad. <laughs> Never actually failed and that. He, but and he tries to blind, too. So, so. We were blown out of the cavern. It's a shame. And we never saw that cavern ever again. Yep, it's all oh, or mine is gone. It's not gone. Okay. Just gotta try again later. I guess so, because I have no Pokemon that could I don't have a Pokemon right now that can uh combat a Pokemon that has a terror type of a dragon. Hello, you're new. What the heck are those things? A mastiff. A mastiff. Like, he straight up sounds like a dog. Well, I mean, it's a plant word, so yeah, probably should. Like, woof. Put him in the dog pound. Mischief is caught. Ooh, sage morning razor leaf. Let's go.
Mastiff, the rascal Pokemon. Its well-developed jaw and fangs are strong enough to crunch through boulders, and its thick fat makes for an excellent defense. And he's nervous as... And he's nervous AF. Nervous? Why? Look at his face. Don't he's like he's trying. He, he's like he's trying to be. He want. He's like he's trying to be me, but he can't be. I'm gonna name him Courage. Like from Courage the Cowardly Dog. What name? What 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 moves do you know? You know Snuggle. Yes. Snarl, Lick, Scary Face, and Home Claws. We'll put you in the box for now. I want to go up there. Do you see that glowing thing up there? I do see the glowing thing up there. It intrigues me as well. Wait, hold on. There's just a straight up star. Uh, Staravia. Looks like you're trying to run him over. So, what level are you, sir? What are you doing here? Oh, well, you know what? It's probably from that buff I got from the sandwich. To level 25. No, thank you, sir. I do not want to mess with you. Hello. It's a Scyther. Uh, what level are you? Hey, hey, hey. Nah. What level are you? And it's just Christian. normal. It's just straight up normal. <laughs> oh, I think you have the thing still. Okay, cannot catch a Pokemon while it's terrestrialized. You need to reduce its HP to break through its transformation first. Only then you can try to catch it. Oh, heck no. Level 22 Scyther? No. And I can't get away. Oh, bye, Sage. Run away, please. I do not want to mess with a level 22 Scyther. Not right now. <laughs> what is this? Did, did, did you hear me before? Just so you know. What? But you still got the thing on. Oh. Damn. Thank you. Okay, something tells me I am like way, way, way. I'm in the wrong area. It's a flittle. Flittle, the frill Pokemon. It spends its time running around wastelands. If anyone steals its beloved berries, it will chase them down and exact its revenge. Damn. Wow. Harsh. All that pent up vengeance for a small thing. Floof. We'll call it Floof.
There's a metatite. Okay. Leave me alone, buddy. Stop it. I do not. <laughs> Damn it. Pick a fight with you. Oh, level eighteen Scyther. Uh, I could take it. Uh, I'll come back for you. Oh, hello, Toxel. You a small baby. The baby. Damn, feels bad. Is a toxel. If I, if I, there we go. Toxel, the baby Pokemon. This selfish, attention seeking Pokemon stores poison and electricity in two different sacks inside its body. This was this was uh the last gen Pokemon. Toxel. Oh, Toxel. Yeah. It was kinda weird it said the baby Pokemon. I was like, it's kinda weird. <laughs> Cause it's basically a reptile baby. There's a weird baby Pokemon. Like, Sounds weird. I'll we'll do tie. Okay, clearly I'm in the wrong part of town. I need to go back. <laughs> as soon as I get this rock rough. My boy! Okay, now this is what I can do. Oh, Mistrevis as well. I need to get that as well. Oh no, he's gonna die. Sorry, Rock Ruff. Guess it wasn't meant to be. Mistrevis. Oh, did you also notice the textures on the Pokemon? Mm, not really. It's all about the textures. They got textures on them now. Uh, I, mean, I guess I haven't played enough to really notice between the other games. Well, I mean, you've only played like the 2D sprite game, so you can't really tell. Yeah, exactly. It should be fine, right? It's a Mistrevis. It can't come out. Yeah, there we go. Mistrevis, the Screech Pokemon. It loves to bite and yank people's hair from behind without warning, just to see their shocked reactions. Mean? Yeah. Pulling people's hair and stuff? That's mean. Missy. We'll never we'll name it Missy. Hmm. 
Alright, let's just head over to the Pokemon Center if I can. Because again, I'm in the wrong part of town. Need to get back up to where I need to go. And I can't climb yet. Oh, I can go this way. It's a better idea. Got the thing on still, by the way. You get the thing. Thank you. There we go. Got the got the thing on still, by the way. Just so you know. Dang it! You know what? stuff. Went to Smoth and Sunkern conversing. Let's heal. And I hear a gimme goal again. Miko and the rest of your team should be better now. Oh, by the way, did you know? If you press the ZL button, you can lock on to a nearby Pokemon, meaning you'll keep your sights set on it. Once you're locked on, throwing a Pokeball with the ZR button would let you start a battle with the Pokemon you're aiming for. Yeah, it's a hit or miss with this thing, the lock on. Oh, there he is. There's a gimme ghoul. 